Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to Sajibana Games. So playing a little bit more of Elite Dangerous. So in the last video we were talking about doing salvage runs and I had a bit of trouble because I'm new to the game. I've only been playing since yesterday. Um, and could not find our salvage module um, that we needed, which is this mission degraded emissions threat zero thing where we go to get the encrypted data module or whatever it is we, we pick up with our cargo scoop. Um, Anyway, so I, I went back to the other system where they issued the mission, picked up two more, so now I got three outstanding. And we're going to try this again and see if it goes better for us. We just came out of hyperdrive into the system. The first one we don't have to search for. It was very easy. It was right, like basically right in front of us. So we're on our way there. We'll get this, we'll get this first one. Then we're going to try and use analysis mode together to see if we can figure out how to... Um, get get these uh other mod other locations so we can collect all this cargo and complete these missions so let's see how this goes all right so we are approaching we're using the compass there the little circle with the solid dot and the crosshairs to kind of keep us facing it on we're watching our distance and speed in the lower left as well see our distance is closing we probably need to start slowing down a little bit because we don't want to overrun the, the location and we don't want to blow right past it so here we go now we see the speed bar is coming down closer to the blue blue area the distance distance bar is coming down closer to the blue area so we just want to slowly decelerate as we get closer um, so that you know not decelerate rate where we never basically get there but just so that you know when we hit the blue on the distance we want to hit the blue on the speed then we can exit super cruise and we'll be right where we want to be let's see how this works out for us today and what I do what I like to do is if the speed drops into the blue area but the distance has a ways to go and you know I'm impatient then I just accelerate a little bit but keep myself keep the speed in the blue if we're we're semi close you know so let's see how this goes so you see I can I can accelerate just a little bit stay in the blue but keep the distance so we can close the distance a little faster but be ready to exit super cruise when we hit that blue bar there we go all right so let's go ahead and get the first one as soon as we all right we're coming on a super cruise let's go ahead and deploy our cargo scoop let's slow down what we search for and find the right container so most of the most of the containers there we go all right most of the containers are right in front of us there's the one we want let's go ahead and pick this one up So we got that one. Let's just pick up a couple other random while we're here. And we'll sell them at the next station we dock at. What's this one? Clothing, bio waste. I think clothing sounds better than bio waste. All right, let's pick up this clothing container. Sounds like important stuff. People need to eat. Alright. So that's an another couple containers. I don't know what's in that one, but we're already blown by it. So 
let's just uh, circle around till we find one here. Polymers, okay. Eh, sounds like a winner. I don't remember polymers being uber profitable, but it's okay. We'll get them. Alright, so that's, that's enough of that anyways. So, what I went and figured out is the analysis mode. I think you enter with the... Oh, there we go. It's not... So we want analysis mode. Let's um do I have to pull in my cargo scoop? I don't think so, but we'll find out. So if we go here to options, we're just gonna check what this is. Controls. Alright, so We want full spectrum system scanner. That's what we're looking for. So how do we turn it on? Okay, so here we go. It looks like it is the apostrophe. Alright, so that's what we're looking for. Okay, so let's see if this will work here. Enter. Oh, enter super cruise. Okay. So we got an inner super cruise. slowing down let's hit our apostrophe so now we're in the full system spectrum scanner and this should allow us to find what we're looking for or so I was told let's see hold There we go, there's something. Mm, okay, so this is where we can adjust what we're looking for. Signal Rocky Icy Worlds, Metal Rich Bodies, Asteroid Clusters, Concentrated signal sources. So let's see. Um, okay. All right. So this is going to tell us what these are. Zoom failed. Okay. Well, we can't zoom. I guess. Oh, there we go. Encoded emissions. All right, so that's an encoded emissions. Let's see, we, let's see, we gotta be over just one. Degraded emissions. Search and, or search and rescue salvage. Okay, it's a different kind of salvage. We'll back out of that. Alright, so let's see. What else is there? 
Convoy. Okay. So now we're, we're on a roll. We're discovering a lot more things here. Use the trigger to zoom. Coded. Okay, more encoded emissions. Oh, wrong. There we go. Gotta get the crosshair right over it. Alright, some more encoded. So here we go. We got an orange one. Maybe this is our mission. It's degraded. Oh, okay. Let's see, what's this one? So we're just checking all these out. Let's see what else we got here. We've got still more signal sources. Okay. see here is looking around and uh, finding what is out here so that we know kind of all of the places we can go things we can find it's all here all right so how do I know which ones oh I missed this one okay, okay. I think we can also look at there's the nav beacon. There's the planet. There is. Oops. Let's see if I. Okay, so here we go. We can see a lot of detail for these clusters. There's the star. These the ones that are planets. That's Let's see if we can find. I see bodies, rocky bodies. That must be cash giant. Okay.
Okay, so if you get the tune right, the frequency correct, that's how you zoom. Without the frequency correct, you cannot zoom in. Alright, that is a rocky body. This, I'm assuming, is... Extraction site. So, oh, we didn't check out this one. Okay. Oh, so, let's see. Now that we've marked all of these, let's see if we can figure out which ones relate to the mission at hand. So we've got all these locations, we discovered all these anomalies or whatever in space. Well, there's the next one. Let's cruise on over, check it out, then we'll see if the other one's here. So far, so good. At least the timer is going much faster than actual seconds, since um, since we're accelerating. Almost there. Let's see if we can get all three of these in without a long wait. And then we'll make our way back and turn them in. And we blew past it. I was pressing the slow down, but it wasn't really slowing down fast enough. Alright, let's see how far away we are here. Distance is closing in. Let's back off the throttle. Maybe. Let's see here. Here we go. Our distance is closing, our speed is falling, so we'll be there soon. And it's holding steady at 25 seconds. So what's happening is because we're slowing the time, the distance is closing, but because we're slowing down, the time isn't really changing. But once we hit the desired speed range, we'll start to 
throttle up just a little bit to keep us in that speed range and that'll start to shorten that 25. Let's see how we do. Here, let's find our container. Polymers, algae. There it is. So that's what we want. Deploy our scoop. Let's accelerate and pick this thing up. Then we'll see if on the signal, full, the full spectrum scanner, if we also detected the third one that we need. Alright, there we go. So we got that one. Let's go ahead and turn back. All right, well, let's see. Navigation. We don't need the nav beacon. Yeah, okay, so... Let's, for now, Set this as our destination, direction, so that we're headed towards the rest of the system. And speed up. I still swear every time it says frame shift drive, that it's, it sounds like friendship drive. Alright. Let's throttle this down until we find what we're looking for. And there it is. Oh, whoops. Oh. Well, we had it highlighted for a moment. One of these was blue. I think it's right. Alright, let's do this. Oh, that's that one. There's where we want to go, right there. So that did work good. So it was amongst the things in our analyzer. So the key is the analyzer didn't tell us which one was the uh, mission objective, but if we scanned everything, it reveals them on the basically on the screen here once we start doing super cruise. And now we can cruise over and get our container. So let's see how this goes. While we're on the way, whoops, nope, we don't want that. Exit. Exit. We want Okay, so we got room for three more things. So we'll get our data and we'll pick up two containers, then we'll head back to the other station and call this a successful run. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do, do. Gotta love that that music. They play it in the in the space stations. It's still stuck in my head. Here at my house, I have a um, like an action figure. That's more of a joke, though. It's kind of like those collector's edition action figures you get for different games and movies and kind of things where you know they have big followings. But um, it's the monolith, right? So it's just like a slab, <laughs> and it says on the box zero points of articulation, and then it's got like a set. It shows a set of like the other ones, you know, the other monoliths from the other films, and it's like collect them all just always made me laugh, which is the whole reason why I got it. Uh, back from Think Geek before they got bought by GameStop, I felt like they had, back then they had better stuff on their site. I, I don't know, I used to buy stuff on think, thinkgeek.com all the time, and then after GameStop took over and, and bought them out, whatever, I felt like they went downhill. <laughs> so, don't really get stuff from there anymore, too much. I'm sure they still have, you know, some things for interest some people but most of the stuff that I used to get there that I liked uh, it doesn't seem to be as readily available or the selections not quite what it used to be alright but you know if you want to buy some like Harry Potter stuff Star Wars stuff Star Trek stuff right all in one place all these different nerd or geek items yeah, thinkgeek.com probably still has a few things for for most people so check it out that's a non uh, non sponsored mention <laughs> do not get paid by thinkgeek.com even though I did meet someone on an airplane once who did but you know that was more random All right, here we go. We're at our next mission objective. All right, food, pesticides, pesticides. Come on. Hydrogen. Where is the... I should probably slow down more still. Or just stop. Make it a lot easier to find the right canister. Because if I cruise by them and I keep turning back and circling back, I'll just miss it over and over again and come back and look at the same things twice. Alright, where is this thing? We're looking for a particular container here. There it is. All right. Let's deploy our cargo scoop. So see here, just in the cargo scoop, you can see the red indicator telling us that it's not going to pick it up. And there, blue, red, blue. So as long as it lands in the blue box and it's blue, it's going to pick it up. But if it's red, you'll you'll bump it away. It might damage the container damage your ship depending on your you know shields armor what container you're picking up and all that good stuff but um yeah and it's no fun when the container starts to move because you bumped it Algae's worth. Alright, our cargo hold is full. So let's go ahead and navigate back to turn these missions in. 
Ravens. Yeah, we came back. Of course you can't, because the cargo scoop is still out. Let's try that again. Okay. Here we go. And here we go. That was pretty much a successful run, so let's uh, take this stuff back, see where we stand, and I think we're ready to buy a new ship, so let's see how that all works out for us, too, even though I don't know exactly where uh, all the ships in this game are. I do know there's one at the other system we just left, <laughs> so we'll go back and get it after we get our money. Um, there is... A ship at that system that um, that uh, is much better than the one we're in. The only thing it is not is as maneuverable, but just about in every other category, it's better. So we're gonna go get that ship. And you know, I doubt it'll be the last time we upgrade a ship or add add a ship to our collection, but it'll be a start get out of the starter craft that's so small and doesn't really have any teeth to it. Alright, super cruise assist. Come on, bring us right into the station. Even though every single time we approach from the wrong side, so... That means I gotta fly around. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It says seven seconds, but it's been there for a moment. There we go. Let me see our speed dropping on the indicator getting close to the blue bars our distance dropping getting close to the blue bars almost to that sweet spot also mentioned that I like the sound effects in this game, the background noise, it's good. You know, just the rumbling of stuff passing by and things like that. Even though technically in outer space there should be no sound transfer because there's not air, so without air, sound doesn't quite travel the same. Or at all. <laughs> So did a little boost. Let's go ahead and slow down. All right, let's request for permission to dock. And then we'll turn in these missions. We'll go get another ship, and then we'll call this one a day.
Go ahead, scan away. We don't have any illegal goods. Piranhas. Five credits of fuel, so that's a win. All right, fill it up. Let's go turn in these missions. Okay. So there we go. All three complete. Turn it in. Back. Turn it in. Turn it in. All right. So that. Builds us up a little bit. And we want to go next. I'm looking to go back to everywhere. But this time I am not going to take a mission like this one. Because I want to turn it. I don't want to have to come back here right away. So let's go. Let's just disembark. Unless there's a passenger. No, no passengers, okay. Auto launch. You can go ahead and set up your waypoint to your next destination while you're launching. You don't have to, you don't have to wait. So that's a thing. Let's just go ahead down here to... Oops. Where am I going? I'm going to go here. Last I checked, there's a, a ship here that I want. That's my next ship. The 20 is I'm playing solo. So, and there's still a queue to exit the space station. Go figure. Mass lock is done. Let's go here and engage hyperdrive. Frameshift drive charging. It's another highly secure area. System. Let's find our space station. This one. Let's 
So this next ship, like I said, I think it's better in every way. Exceptions for maybe the optional module upgrades I made on the ship I'm flying now. As well as um, some differences in maneuverability. But I think with some upgrades the, the new one will be better for maneuverability as well. We will see. But the current starter ship only has two hard points for like weapons. Then this new one has four, so we could potentially mount, you know, three guns and a mining laser, um, so it gives more firepower and the ability to mine, which is kind of um, what's that? Obtain line of sight. Okay, so my destination is behind this planet. There was for a moment. Let's see. Yeah, we didn't get pulled into the atmosphere. It's fine. We get a red warning though. We are too close. Too close. Alright, just another couple seconds and we will be there. So far this is a, you know, an okay game, love the graphics and a lot of the controls. I'll say the dog fighting though is something I'm going to have to practice and learn because I have yet to win a dog fight but I also have yet to really engage in a dog fight with a pirate in a lower level system to match my lower level ship. Um, Also with the upgraded ship, I hope I'll be able to do better in that regard. So, if so, I'll, I'll share a video and um, some tips and pointers. All right, let's go ahead and dock and pick up this new ship. Oh, cool. This station looks like without the autopilot, it'd be really hard to dock at considering it's constantly rotating, not just in a circle. It looks like it's, I don't know, on some kind of other gimbal axis. I don't quite know how it rotates, but. Hmm. services and hopefully I am not mistaken so here we go to starport services we're gonna jump over to shipyard and then the sidewinders what we already have so you can see the one we're in is better than this one in virtually every way Eagles kind of a entry-level fighter I'll say Hauler is an entry level hauler. The adder is kind of a well rounded, but I would say not a great ship. The Viper Mark III is a light combat ship. And then there is this Cobra Mark III. This is the one I want because you can see its top speed, boost, maneuverability, the range is all higher. The shields and armor, oops, the shields and armor are better. So this is the one we want. If I could scroll the details here. So haul, haul mass, cargo capacity is higher. The lasers you can see here, this has got two 
um, fixed lasers, but two hard, empty hard points, two utility miles, same as the other one. Cargo capacity is a lot more. You can see it's got eight and eight, which is already like double what I have now, plus another two. Um, then it's got the other same components, much more power, sensors, everything seems to be better. So let's purchase this. Let's purchase and exchange current ship. Do we want to exchange? I think we do. All right, so we're going to exchange the current, lose your current ship and modules. You cannot undo this. Actually, hold on, no, let's not. Let's store it because I may want to move a few modules over. We'll see. Let's see about that. All right. Mm. Yeah, we'll exchange. It can't be anything that hard to replace. All right. So here we go. Our fuel capacity is 16 instead of 2. So this thing is so much better in so many ways. All right. Well, there you go, everyone. We've upgraded our ship. So now we're not in the starter ship anymore. So, and we figured out how to use the full spectrum system, uh, full spectrum analyzer to full spool, the <laughs> full spectrum system analyzer to find our um, salvage sites for the mission objectives. So anyways, uh, if you like uh, Elite Dangerous, give it a shot. It's a fun space game, have yet to explore everything, but it looks promising. So give it a shot, and maybe I'll see you in a multiplayer match one day. For now, this is Sajibana, signing off. Have fun gaming. <laughs>